Let's continue on with our RNA negatives by talking about Bunyavirus. virus. The name Bunyavirus virus provides a wealth of low-hanging mnemonics from which to draw, but we're going to center our sketch around a bunion. No, not the condition that occurs on your inner foot, but rather Paul Bunyan. You know, the giant, axe-swinging mountain man of American tall tale fame. So let's start by drawing a nice, picturesque forest scene with some majestic mountains off in the distance. And here comes Paul Bunyan himself, just taking a night stroll with his axe and not a care in the world. The Bunyan viruses are a family of single-stranded RNA negatives. So the mountains in the back give off a warm orange glow to remind you that it's an RNA virus, and the nighttime scene, with our negative sense moon, tells you that it's a negative sense virus. Bunyan virus is also an envelope virus. You can remember this by looking at Paul Bunyan's nice golden robe that's enveloping him. Something that sets Bunya apart from the other envelope viruses is that it obtains its envelope from the Golgi body complex of host cells. And that's why his coat is the color gold. Gold for Golgi. Another important characteristic of the virus is that it's segmented. Remember the mnemonic BOR? B stands for Bunya virus. And it has three segments. To remind you of this, we had Paul Bunyan chop down three trees with his axe. So these three segments of a tree should remind you of the three segments of Bunya virus. And lastly, notice that these three stumps have rings inside just to represent that they are three circular segments. Most of the viruses in the Bunya family are arboviruses, which, if you remember, means arthropod-born. So let's also sketch in a wooden arbor in the background to remind you that bunyaviruses are mostly arboviruses. Hopefully, you remember this arbor symbol from the toga virus sketch. An important exception to the arbovirus rule, however, is hantavirus, which is transmitted through contact with rodents or their excrement. So let's talk more about hantavirus, arguably the most important of the bunyaviruses. Its reservoir is a deer mouse, thereby making it a robovirus, or rodent-born virus. We'll illustrate hantavirus on the left side of the sketch, away from the arbor on the right. And now, some of you might remember the big outbreak of hantavirus in a tent cabin village in Yosemite National Park in 2012. Several visitors who swept up rodent feces fell ill with hantavirus, and some people even died. The type of hantavirus is named sin nombre, which is Spanish for the nameless virus. So to illustrate hantavirus, we'll draw in deer mice scurrying away from bunion, leaving a cloud of urine and pellets of feces behind them. A couple mice have died from this vicious virus on the left, and little ghosts are hovering above their lifeless bodies. Little does Paul know that these ghost mice will now haunt his dreams forever. Get it? Haunt for hantavirus. <laughs> now, what exactly did these people die from? Well, hantavirus causes pulmonary edema via capillary leak and pre-renal azotemia. So take a look at Paul. His chest is puffed out from respiratory effort, and he's so sweaty from the vigorous chopping that he has wet marks on his chest that are in the shape of lungs. And this is to remind you of pulmonary capillary leak. Also, see the kidney-shaped canteen he has draping at his hip that's leaking from the top? Looks like he forgot to screw the top on again, and now it has low volume, or not enough to fill his kidney. So that stands for pre-renal azotemia, which occurs due to all the capillary leak and loss of fluids. It can also potentially cause hemorrhagic fever, which is why he's feverish and sweating, and... Uh, look at this blood dripping from his axe, leaving a trail of hemorrhaged blood behind him. Alright, moving on. Now, there are many different kinds of bunyaviruses, and you aren't expected to know all of them, but let's illustrate other popular bunyaviruses that you may need to know. First is Rift Valley Fever, and second would be California Encephalitis. These are both arboviruses and are mainly spread by the Aedes mosquito. Most cases are not fatal, but rather cause neurological problems including seizure, encephalitis, on top of myalgias, and fever. So to the right, we'll draw on California Rift Valley Elementary School to remind you of both of California encephalitis and Rift Valley fever. 
This crowd of school children out front are looking up at Paul Bunyan, looming large in the foreground, and they're shaking in fear. This shaking represents seizures, and this school headmaster with his red turban represents encephalitis. Finally, we have this swarm of mosquitoes biting the kids to remind you of the vector, the Aedes mosquito. And that's about all you need to know about Bunyan virus. Next time you're in the California forest, make sure to deed up, wear long sleeves, and stay away from mouse poo to avoid Bunyan virus. Oh, and also, stay away from really tall men with bloody axes. <laughs>